refraction of light at a spherical surface at a single spherical surface. Now, there can be number of cases. Case 1, light is traveling from a rarer to a denser medium the surface may be concave or the convex the answer will be the same refracting surface may be concave or may be convex Now, this is my principal axis. My refracting surface Say is a convex one. Here, an object is placed over here. We will always take the rarer medium refractive index N1 and the denser medium refractive index N2. Now a ray of light comes from the object let this point be A. See the center of curvature of this surface is here. From the center goes my normal. This is my normal. Light bends towards the normal because it is going to a denser medium. Light bends towards the normal and we have the image over here. Now we will always take the angle made by the incident ray as alpha. The angle made by the image, the refracted ray as beta and the angle at the center of curvature as gamma. This is my angle of incidence. 
this is my angle of refraction angle which the refracted ray makes with the normal this is my refracted ray this is my incident ray now here we draw a perpendicular let this point be p and this point as n now in the triangle oac in triangle oac oac we can write exterior angle equal to sum of interior opposite angle i equal to alpha plus gamma and in the triangle aic a i c exterior angle equal to sum of interior opposite angle so gamma is equal to r plus beta therefore r is equal to gamma minus beta now if we apply snell's law from here by snell's law we can apply n1 sin i is n2 sin r n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r when the angles are very small we can write this as n1 i equal to n2 r and what is i i is alpha plus gamma so i can write this as n1 alpha plus gamma equal to n2 what is r gamma minus beta gamma minus beta now if the angles are very small the angles can be replaced by tan this becomes tan alpha plus tan gamma that is equal to n2 tan gamma minus tan beta now what is tan alpha tan alpha from the figure you can see is an by no so this can be written as tan alpha can be written as an by no what is tan gamma tan gamma from the figure can be written as an by nc now what is tan gamma here again it is an by nc what is tan beta it is an by ni now an can be cancelled from both the sides and n is very close to p so here wherever i have n 
I will replace this n with p. Wherever I have n, I will replace it with p. So this becomes n1 1 by p o plus 1 by p c equal to n2 1 by p c minus 1 by p i. Now if you take this PC terms on one side, what you can write is N1 by PO plus N2 by PI is equal to N2 minus N1 1 by PC. Now, what is PO? PO is actually the object distance. And we are going against light. Since we are going against light, according to the sign convention, against light, it should be negative. So, in place of PO, we are writing minus U. Now, what is PI? PI. This is my image. PI. Here, we are going in the direction of light. So, my image distance is positive. Light always comes from the object. So, this becomes plus V. This is N2 minus N1. Now, what is PC? PC is the radius. And you are going in the direction of light. Always you have to go from the pole. Remember the sign convention. Always you have to go from the pole. So PO against light minus U. PI in the direction of light plus V. And PC in the direction of light R. PC is the radius of curvature. So this is plus R. So this can be written as. N2 by V minus N1 by U is N2 minus N1 by R. Remember, we will always take N1 as rarer, N2 as denser, whether the surface is convex or concave, whether the surface is convex or concave, the formula will be the same. The formula will be the same. N2 by V minus N1 by U is N2 minus N1 by R provided. Provided the light should go from, the light should go from a rarer to a denser medium. If this changes, then the formula will change. The light should go from a rarer to a denser medium. The formula will not be affected whether the surface is conve concave or convex. Even if the surface is like this. Even if the surface is like this. And the light is going from a rarer to a denser medium. The formula will be the same. We will always take N1 as rarer n2 as denser and final formula will be n2 by v minus n1 by u is n2 minus n1 by r while doing the sums again you have to put the sign convention now if the light travels from let us take case 2 light is traveling from And optically, 
डेंसर टू ऑप्टिकली रेयर मीडियम the refracting surface may be convex or may be concave this is my principal axis my refracting surface it is a spherical surface we are studying refraction through a spherical surface here is my denser medium now light will go from denser to rarer denser i told you we will take as n2 always and rarer we will take as n1 so that we don't make a mistake my object is over here here is the center of curvature a ray of light comes from the object a ray of light comes from the object my normal is from the center my normal is from the center now it is going from a denser to a rarer medium so what happens light bends away from the normal and extended backward we have the image over here light bends away from the normal extended backward we have the image over here let this point be a from a we draw a normal let this point be n and this point be p my angle of incidence is the angle which the incident ray makes with the normal and my angle of refraction is the angle which the refracted ray makes with the normal so this is my angle r we told we will be taking the object angle as alpha the image angle as beta and the center of curvature angle as gamma now let us take the triangle aic aic in this triangle we can say angle i is equal to beta plus gamma exterior angle equal to sum of interior opposite angle because we are extended the, extending this side so we can say in triangle aic angle i is equal to beta plus gamma and in triangle
sorry it should be oac children in the triangle this is the triangle oac it is o ac angle i is alpha plus gamma angle i is alpha plus gamma and in triangle aic in triangle aic in triangle aic angle r is beta plus gamma once again if you take this uh, big triangle aoc this exterior angle i this exterior angle i equal to alpha plus gamma so from here we can write i is equal to alpha plus gamma and in this triangle aic in this triangle aic this line in extended backward this angle this angle r is beta plus gamma now from snell's law we can write from snell's law we can write n2 sin i equal to n1 sin r if the angle is very small we can write n2 i equal to n1 r now what is i i is alpha plus gamma so i can write i as alpha plus gamma into alpha plus gamma equal to n1 what is r beta plus gamma now if the angles are very small then alpha can be written as tan alpha gamma can be written as tan gamma beta can be written as tan beta and gamma can be written as tan gamma now what is tan alpha perpendicular by base so tan alpha can be written as an by no tan gamma can be written as an by nc tan beta can be written as an by ni tan gamma can be written as an by nc now again we have an cancelling from both the sides an cancelling from both the sides n is very close to p so all the ends i can replace with p all the ends i can replace with p so what do we write here n2 1 by p o plus 1 by p c equal to n1 1 by p i plus 1 by p c or n2 by pc bring all the pcs on one side n1 by pc equal to n1 by pi minus n2 by po or we can write just reverse n2 by po my uh, it is n1 by pi minus n2 by po equal to 
n2 minus n1 into 1 by pc. Now what is pi? pi is minus v because you are going against light. pi is minus v. It is minus v. What is PO? PO is minus U because you are com coming against light. That is N2 minus N1. What is PC? PC is plus R because you are going in the direction of light. So it is plus R. So what you have here, if you take... Uh, this minus minus becomes plus n2 by u minus n1 by v is n2 minus n1 by r. Now what is the difference in the formula? The previous formula was n2 by v minus n1 by u was n2 minus n1 by r. Now the formula becomes n2 by u minus n1 by v is n2 minus n1 by r. Here only u and v changes. Otherwise the formula will remain the same whether the surface is convex or concave. Only you have to remember whether the light is going from rarer to denser or denser to rarer. Rarer to denser, the formula will be N2 by V minus N1 by U. And denser to rarer, U and V will change. Let us take a question. Say, the radius of curvature of a glass sphere is 4 cm. There is an air bubble there is an air bubble at a distance of 1 cm from the center of the sphere. At what distance the bubble will appear When seen through the surface, number one, nearer the bubble, and number two, farthest from the bubble. Now let us take the bubble now for case 1, nearer the bubble, this is my principal axis,
this is my center here is my bubble which is my object I am seeing through the side nearer the bubble a ray from the object comes to the surface this is my incident ray from the center acts my normal this is my normal now this is glass so this is denser medium so this is my n2 and this is air this is my rarer medium n1 now light is coming from denser to rarer so light bends away from the normal and extended backward we find the image at this point this is my pole the, my eye is the side i am looking from the side nearer to the bubble o is my bubble now the formula for denser to rarer is formula for denser to rarer is n2 by u minus n1 by v is n2 minus n1 by r the light is going from denser to rarer now the refractive index of glass is 1.5 what is my u u is the distance from the refracting surface to the object now you are going against light light is coming from the object so po is can be written as minus now the radius of curvature is 4 and the air bubble is 1 cm from the center the radius is 4 and this is 1 it is 1 cm from the center it is 1 cm from the center so po will be 3 so this is minus 3 because you are going from pole to object light will always come from the object minus n1 is air air is 1 you have to find the distance v where the image is formed n2 is 1.5 n1 is 1 and your radius of curvature you are going against light it is minus 4 so it will be 1.5 means 3 by 2 minus 1 by v this is 0.5 by minus 4 3 cancels so half is 0.5 minus 0.5 minus 1 by v is 0.5 by 4 if you take uh, 1 by v goes that side this is equal to 0.5 by 4 minus 0.5 or 1 by v equal to if you take 0.5 common it is 1 by 4 minus 1 or 1 by v equal to 0.5 this is uh 1 minus 4 minus 3 by 4 so this becomes v becomes uh minus 4 by 1.5 which is 
minus 2.7 centimeter. So the answer is minus 2.7 centimeter. The image will be 2.7 centimeter from the pole. Now if the question goes like this. That you are going to see the image from farthest from the bubble. Farthest from the bubble. Say, this is my principal axis. This is my center. This is my object, which is one centimeter from the center. A ray from the object is coming. You are seeing from the farthest side. A ray from the object is coming. You are seeing from the farthest side. The normal goes from the center of curvature. And now it is going from denser to rarer. So it will go away from the normal light was coming like this. Light was coming like this. It bends away from the normal. Extended backward. We see the image over here. We are seeing from the farthest side. Now this is my refracting surface. You have to consider the refracting surface where refraction takes place. You have to see my refracting surface. PC is 4 cm. So your object distance PO is minus 5 which is my object distance. My image distance I have to find out. PI. PC is the radius of curvature. Is minus 4 centimeter. Now light is going from denser. My denser is N2. Rarer is N1. Denser to rarer. Light is going from denser to rarer. Now what is the formula for denser to rarer? Formula for denser to rarer is N2 by U minus N1 by V is N2 minus N1 by R. N2 is 1.5, U is minus 5. In 1, 1, V we have to find out. It is 1.5 minus 1, R is minus 4. So this is 0.3. So this becomes minus 0 0.3 minus 1 by V is 0 0.5 by 4 and definitely minus Therefore, 1 by V becomes 0 0.5 by 4 minus 0 0.3. So, this is 0 0.5 minus 1.2. So, this becomes minus... 0 0.7 by 4. So what is V? V is minus 4 by 0 0.7. That is minus 5.7 centimeter. Minus 5.7 centimeter. So now the image will be formed PI 5.7 centimeter far. Here we are seeing the air bubble from closer to the bubble. Here we are seeing the bubble further. Remember 
denser to rarer, the formula is N2 by U minus N1 by V is N2 minus N1 by R and rarer to denser is you have to exchange U and V and in the formula you have to apply sign convention.